On today's build, I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome fan covers for your PC. Let's get it. Like in previous builds, we always start off by framing the work area. Since I know the fan can fit on the print bed, the area we are framing is for the fan itself. I decided early on that the holes that were going to be used to mount the cover were the most crucial part. Since they are 105 millimeters apart, you can build a simple square that is 105 by 105 millimeters. In each of the corners of the square, that's where the mounting holes will be. Now we can make some center lines to ensure the hole for the fan can stay centered to the frame. The larger circle is for the outside and the inner circle is for the inside of the fan hole. You could print this part while it's squared up, but I like to add a little flair to my projects and it also cuts down on the filament usage and printing time. So just get creative with this part. Since this is a circular canvas, it makes it much easier to center up with the fan area. Once you have it how you like it, it's finally time to trace around your canvas. Two of the best tools for this job are the line tools and the three point arc. I feel like it's important to note that you don't have to trace around the canvas exactly. As long as it's semi-close, the print will look great, I promise. When your sketch turns blue, whenever you hover over certain areas, it means that the area can be extruded. If the area does not turn blue, or if the surrounding parts turn blue, that means you need to check the lines you drew to see if any lines aren't connected. Now we can clean off extra lines on your sketch. Next up, we can use the extrude tool to make our project 3D. I felt like on this print, three millimeters was thick enough. Making the edges softer with the fillet tool isn't necessary, but once again, I like saving time and money. So it's just good practice. Now the design part is complete, we can send it off to the slicing program to write us some of them sweet G-codes. If you want to print these off without designing them yourself, you can head over to the Shinobi 3DP Thingiverse page. Or if you just want to buy them, I also have an Etsy page. The links are in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this quick build. If you have questions about it, you can ask them in the comment section below. I hope to grow a community of people helping others build new and amazing things. You can be part of that community by liking and subscribing to this channel. Alright, see you on the next build.